ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದಂ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯ ಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದುಭವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂ ಹೈತಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ವೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಶ್ನಭಕ್ತಿಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚಮ ದೇವಿಂ ಸ್ವರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಬರುಣ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನತಪಾಲ್ಭವೀಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಲ್ಲವಲಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗ್ರಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಪಾಂಕರೋಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸಿಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯುತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರೌ ಕರುಣಾಭುತಾರೌ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷೀತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ಶಜುಷ್ಯದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಭಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಭೀತ್ಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ಇಹಾ ಯಶ್ ಹರಿರ್ದಾಸಿ ಕರ್ಮನಾ ಮನಸಾ ಗಿರಾ 
इहा यशो हरेरदास से कर्मना मनोसा गिया गिरा निखिल ओपी निखिल ओपी निखिल ओपी अवस्थासु सर्वासु सौ जीवन मुक्त उच्चते निखिलासु अवस्थासु सौ जीवन मुक्त सौ उच्चते जीवन मुक्त सौ उच्चते गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंस जगदगुरु टोल्ड दैट व्हाट यू यू वांट एंड व्हाट यू डोंट वांट देयर शुड बी फाइनल सेटलमेंट ऑफ दिस मैटर अदरवाइज वी कैन नॉट स्टार्ट हरि भजन गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंस जगदगुरु टोल्ड what we want and what we don't want there should be final settlement of this factor otherwise we cannot do hari bhajan yahan jo so harer darse karmana manusa gira nikhil asu opi avastha su jab jivan mukto sauchate popa speaking those who are going to dedicate all their body mind all their belonging belongings everything everything all their mind heart or everything they are actually called jivan mukta they are actually called jivan mukta jivan mukta means while you are living in this material world while we can see that you are staying in this material world you are doing everything but your all your activities each and every activities is for the complete satisfaction of krishna jivan mukta mean while you are living in this material world jivan mukta mean while you are living in this material world but still you are mukta why while you are living in this material world like everybody but still you are totally free from any or clutches of maya three modes of nature totally free and each and every of your action is related to krishna bhajan i mean each and every action of your life is for the complete satisfaction of sri krishna is called jivan mukta those who are jivan mukta purush they are actually the teacher they are actually guru jivan mukta purush mean they are krishna tattva beta they have direct realization about seva krishna seva they have direct realization about krishna seva that's why they are jivan mukta that's why they are jivan mukta if we are going to misuse our chetan dharma if we are going to misuse our chetan dharma in that case we are going to invite problem in our life forever if we are going to invite if we are going to misuse our chetan dharma in that case we are going to invite problem in our life forever oba speaking those who are ready to give all their life heart everything for krishna seva they are actually pure devotee paramhansa devotee and that day i was speaking those who are those who are bonded those who are in bonded condition they can never get krishna anyway we will have to go up to this level of niskinchan bhakta kunti devi also speaking kunti devi also speaking that those who are feeling false ego due to their money position everything those who are feeling always false ego for their money position their educational qualification their position their their 
হাই ফ্যামিলি রেস ফর দিয়ার জন্ম ঈশ্বর্য সুত শ্রীবি জন্ম ঈশ্বর্য সুত শ্রীবি রেদ মান মদহপমান জন্ম ঈশ্বর্য সুত শ্রীবি রেদ মান মদহপমান নৈব অর্হতি অভিধাতম বই তম কিঞ্চন গোচরম কুন্তি দেবী স্পিকিং অনলি অ্যান্ড অনলি দোজ ওয়ার অকিঞ্চন ভক্ত নিষ্কিঞ্চন ভক্ত দে ক্যান অনলি রিয়ালাইজ কৃষ্ণ তত্ত্ব অদারওয়াইজ অল নট পসিবল দেয়ার ইজ ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট ফ্যাক্টর ওয়ান দ্যাট ইজ কল দ্যাট ইজ কল আত্মতত্ত্ব উইদাউট আত্মতত্ত্ব উইদাউট নোয়িং আত্মতত্ত্ব ওয়ান ক্যান নট স্টার্ট কৃষ্ণ ভাজন উইদাউট নোয়িং আত্মতত্ত্ব ইট ইজ ইম্পসিবল টু স্টার্ট কৃষ্ণ কৃষ্ণ ভাজন আফটার Krishna Bhajan is a, a second question. First of all, if we don't understand Atma Tattva, then we cannot realize this material world is unstable, my body is unstable, everything is unstable, that you cannot realize. That is the first point. If we cannot understand Atma Tattva, then there is no question of starting Hari Bhajan. No question. Atma Tattva with Purush is rare in this world. আশ্চর্য অশ্ব বক্তা কুশল অশ্বিলব্ধা আশ্চর্য অশ্ব বক্তা হু ক্যান স্পিক অ্যাবাউট আত্মতত্ত্ব এ রেয়ার দিস ক্যান্ড অফ পার্সোনালিটি ইজ রেয়ার হু ক্যান স্পিক অ্যাবাউট আত্মতত্ত্ব আশ্চর্য অশ্ব বক্তা কুশল অশ্বলব্ধা দিস ক্যান্ড অফ বক্তা হু ক্যান স্পিক অ্যাবাউট আত্মতত্ত্ব আফটার রিয়ালাইজেশন আফটার হ্যাভিং ইজ ফুল রিয়ালাইজেশন হু ক্যান স্পিক দ্যাট ক্যান্ড অফ বক্তা স্পিকার ইজ রেয়ার and even more rare who can accept this tatva ashcharya asya bhakta kushal asya labdha who can hear that kind of people is very rare or somebody can hear but cannot realize first point hold all over the world if you travel all over the world if you travel this kind of thing you cannot hear first point is rare very rare this kind of thing you cannot hear or at all you hear from somebody you cannot realize follow and there is a rare such bhakta is rare from whom you can receive this knowledge this kind of bhakta who can speak about atmatatva after full realization is rare second point who can catch this tatva who can realize this tatva who can realize this tattva because without understanding atma tattva nobody can even start hari bhajan not possible atma tattva you must realize we can remember that nochikata nochiketa was a you know number 1 you know srota jamraj ji mara speaking to nachiketa there is long history from upanishad i don't like to speak nachiketa wanted to go to jamraj you know their jamalai there the house of Jam, jamraj ji maharaj but jamraj ji maharaj was not there for three days for three consecutive days three consecutive days three consecutive days he was not there so he was bound to stay there for three days outside gate so jamraj ji maharaj when came he discovered one small boy standing who can reach jamala he is not surely ordinary man ordinary boy you can reach jamala cannot reach so jamraj ji maharaj speaking you are waiting here for me for three days without any reception without any hospitality you are not drinking water not taking prasadam so i feel guilty i am i have done i have some aparad so i like to give you three benediction one by one so final benediction he wanted to get first benediction first first benediction was that my father can feel happy my father can feel happy he can accept me without any without any dissatisfaction there is one history i don't like to speak second point jamraj ji maharaj from jamraj ji maharaj he wanted to gain the second benediction i like to know the mystery of 
अग्नि विद्वा अग्नि 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 विद्वा आई लाइक टू नो द मिस्ट्री ऑफ अग्नि जमराज जी महाराज वॉन्टेड टू स्पीक ऑल इन डिटेल्स अग्नि इज अ वेरी सीक्रेट थिंग and due to agni all this infinite world survive without agni nobody can agni is a you know shakti of bhagwan okay but agni tatva how all demigods they are getting their food by the help of agni in your body agni is there agni doing so many function without agni you cannot live actually Follow. Yesterday I was speaking uh, that your body is made up of three, you know, five elements of nature: kithi, apotej, morudbom. Some body is there, water body. Some body I told you know, tejumai body like fire. Some body is air body. But our body is made up of five elements of nature. Our body, especially. demigods they have some special kind of body they have so all different loka if you go they are different different kind of body anyway so agni is playing the vital part of our life agni is playing the vital part of our life without agni you cannot digest even rice chapati dal prasadam nothing bhagwan sri krishna speaking to speaking in gita In the form of Bhagwan or Agni, Bhagwan Sri Krishna speaking to Arjun. In the in the form of Bhagwan or Bhagwan or Agni, I am going to digest all your you know rice, whatever you are taking. I am digesting. So without Agni, nobody can do. So anyway, so the mystery of Agni. Was spoken by you know Jamraj Mahar to to this you know Nachi Keta. Finally, third benediction he wanted to know Atmut. He wanted to know all about the mystery of Atma. He wanted to know about the mystery of Atma. Jamraj Mahar said, "What you what you want to learn? What you want to know? I want to know the mystery of Atma because some group speaking after death nothing is." nothing there somebody speaking atma living body going somewhere and we uh, it, it is a very complicated thing so uh, i like to know all about the mystery of atma jamraj ma speaking please don't ask this question better you can ask some other question because atma tatva is very very secret tatva and very mysterious uh, and and uh, i can give you everything whatever you want i can give you everything what you want if you want to enjoy the total sovereignty of this material world i can give you i like to go to heaven to enjoy there i can give or whatever you want but please please don't ask about this atmata then nachikata speaking you are going to give me benediction according to my wish you told me what you want so i am speaking you are going to offer me all different kind of lucrative offer like how many years you like to live what you want but you see everything is unstable like lomos muni you heard the name of lomos muni you heard the name of lomos muni you heard never heard in mahabharat you can find lomosh muni lomosh his body is full of far you know like orangutan you know full oh, totally lom and one one this hair going to fall down one you know juga parivartan so long time he is going to live but still he is speaking how long we can live life is very uncertain follow brahma also speaking everybody speaking so nochikata speaking life is very unstable and if you are going to give me uh, my you know anything but still i don't want because you are that one of dadas mahajan 
twelve Mahajan, those who are having complete idea about Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan. Twelve Mahajan. Shayangur Narada Sambhu Kamara Kopilo Manu Prahlada Vishma Janako Vishwa Balir Vaiyasakir Bhayam Dada Saite Bijanimo Dharmam Bhagavatam Bhatta Guiham Vishuddham Durvadhyam Yadgyatta Amrita Mashrute So twelve Mahajan, they are having complete knowledge about Bhagavat Tattva Vigyan. So Nachikata speaking, you are the topmost, you know, Tattvabhid. You are the topmost Tattvabhid and I have the golden opportunity and I have the golden opportunity to know about this Atma Tattva and where I can, where I can get a speaker like you, where I can get a second man who can be in a, as much good as like you. So, I cannot ask anything from you. So, if you like to give me, you have to give me this. Then Jamdaji Maharaj was very satisfied. He started speaking all about, about this, you know, Atma Tattva, mysterious Atma Tattva, how Atma entering one material body inside the inside the womb of mother, how zygote formation, as per medical term, zygote formation, after that maturity gradually, after that how a baby taking birth, after that the baby growing up, after that baby going to get the full fledged form, youth, after that getting old, after that going to live body. Atmotato, I like to know about Atmotato. So Jamraji Mara speaking is very mysterious how Atma going to enter the body of man or woman, any 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 you know beast or birds, after that according to karma fall, according to karma fall, that Atma going to that Atma going to take you know material mind, you know, sanskar. Everything, Atma, with Atma, with Atma, this, your Sanskar, Sanskar, you know, all your Sanskar, with Atma, when you are going to live body, with your Atma, the, your Sanskar can follow. Sanskar can go. Like wind, like wind going to collect the, like one wind going to collect the smell of flower from one garden. Flower is not here. Flower is long here, but you are getting the smell. Like that, your, with, your, with your Atma, the Sanskar, going out. And again you are going to enter into another material body to cut your karma fall. So long as, so long as your karma fall is following you, you will have to take birth and birth and birth and then. When you are successful to cut your all karma fall, when you are successful to cut all your karma fall, then no question. You will have to suffer your karma fall. It's a must. Karma fall, your father cannot bear. Your mother cannot take karma fall. Your friend, your husband, your wife cannot karma karma fall. Avasya meva bhaktabhyam, avasya meva bhaktabhyam, krita karma subhasumam. Avasya meva, it is a must. Avasya meva bhaktabhyam, krita karma subhasumam. Good or bad, whatever karma network, whatever karma network you are going to build up, you will have to suffer. Nobody can suffer. Only when you are going to submit, Hundred percent unto a lotus feet of him, you know, Sadguru like Prabhupada, Bhakti Muttaku like our Guru Varga. In that case, hundred percent. In that case, all your through Hari Bhajan you can cut everything. Otherwise, there is no otherwise there is no procedure you will have to follow. So Abhasya Meva Bhakti Abhyam, Krita Karmam, Sabhasubham, you have to follow. So this way. Like the smell of flower, air, through air you are getting, so your karma fall can drive you. You can go there. 
And you cannot believe everywhere Atma. Atma Vashyam Idam Sarvam Jatkinchi Jagadam Jagat. All around Atma you cannot see. All around Atma, but you cannot see. You have no eyes. You have no eyes. You cannot see. Atma is there. Atma Vashyam Idam Sarvam Jatkinchi Jagadam Jagat. But you cannot see. Anyway, Atma. About Atma, I can speak one or two because time is limited. According to Bhagavad Gita, according to Upanishad, everywhere it is written that one tips of your hair, one tips of your hair, if you are going to divide into thousand part, and again each each part, each each and every of that thousand part, each and every. Again, if you are going to divide into thousand parts, in that case, you can realize Atma. It's mysterious. There's so many arguments in Vedanta, Upanishad, so many. If somebody say, Maharaj, we like to, at least we like to understand something. How Atma is look like, looks like. Atma, well, we know we cannot see Atma because Atma, if you are going to reach up to that level, then and only then, like Nochiketa. Nochiketa can realize Atma, but you cannot realize. Though you are going to re though those you are going to see that your father is going to die, your mother is going to die, your friend, everybody, but still you cannot realize. It is not realization. You are you are watching, but there is not direct realization. So, as far Vedanta Sutra, so as far Vedanta Sutra, it is written, Gunat Alokbat. Qualitatively, qualitatively, it is like light particle. Like, not light. If you say light particle, wrong, totally wrong. It is not like, like light, like. Like mean similarity, little bit, a little bit similarity. Gunat alokbat. And that Atma, when entering into the body of elephant, then going to so big power. When that Atma going to enter into lion body, big power. When going to enter into, eh, into one, you know, one, Insect. So many discussion I can do someday about Atma because there is so many contradiction. Mara, same Atma, same Atma going to enter into elephant or Atma growing and uh, what is this? If Atma, if we can realize about the growth of Atma, if we are going to accept that Atma is going to take birth, all conception wrong. Atma eternally present, Atma infinity, there is no growth of Atma, nothing. Atma same, Chinma, one light particle. Follow. But it is entering into elephant body like to. Otherwise, if we say that once baby took birth, that time Atma was small, after that boy increasing, Atma is growing, all wrong conception. Then countless questions can come. If Atma is there, where? If Atma is there, where? Where in the body? Which part? Is answer, answer given there? It is there in the heart. Acha, okay, if they are in the heart, how whole body giving response? Atma here. If some mosquito cutting here, how you can realize? Then Atma is everywhere spreading? No. All answer? We will have to discuss Atma Tattva, but today no time. So, one question is that without realizing Atma Tattva, without realizing that your body is unstable, all the material world unstable, all your everything what you have unstable, we will have to go away from material world. For only for two days I am here. If you cannot realize from heart, then your Krishna Vajan is one kind of playing game. Like a small boy playing, 
Like a small boy playing with doll, na? It's like a doll. First of all, you will have to realize, Atma Tattva. After that, you will have to understand what is Krishna Bhajan. Krishna Bhajan is topmost. Now, today, I am going to discuss about two Mahapurush, two great personalities. One is, one is Narahari Seva Vigraha, another is Sila Bhakti Vaibha Puri Goswami Maharaj. Great. So, Narahari Seva Vigraha, he is Thirabhaptiti today, and I can speak about, about uh, my Shiksha Guru, Sisila Bhakti Bhava Puri Goshi Maharaj, is today Abhirabhaptiti. I can discuss. So, why I took time to discuss all about this Atma Tattha, realization of this? Because without realizing all this Tattha, it is useless to discuss about this Mahapurush. But you can realize. About whom I am going to discuss, he took birth in, at present in Bangladesh. As present, as present in Bangladesh, he took birth. He came and took shelter unto the Uddha Spirit of Prabhupada. His name is Narahari Sheva Vigraha. Very often I discuss about Bani Vigraha. You can remember? Bani Vigraha. Bani Vigraha. Bani Vigraha is Bani Vigraha and I you know is Narari Seva Vigraha. Narari Seva Vigraha is Seva Vigraha. Man, each and every limbs of his body, each and every limbs of his body is always busy to, to, to serve Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Gurudev, Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Gurudev Mani Pahupa and Gauranga Mahaprabhu always. Each and every of his body limbs, always busy. Even in dream, in a history of Gauriya society, nobody heard about this kind of personality. Like Narodi Sheva Vigraha. He came here in Mayapur to take shelter unto a lotus feet. I heard his took birth in Govardhana, one place. I never went there, but I respect him very much. All the time I remember, Narari Seva Vigraha is, you know, he was less interested to waste even a fraction of time, fraction of second. He was less interested to waste even one fraction of second in his life. One second was not. It was a, it was a strict restriction of Srila Prabhupada. It was a strict restriction, strict instruction of Srila Prabhupada. One has to complete one lakh harina. One has to. Whatever seva you have, I am less interested. Whatever seva you have, you can do. But anyway, I am, there's no excuse. No excuse you will have to complete one lakh harina. So if, if one devotee like Srila Bhakti Dutta Madhav Goswami Maharaj, Hayagir Brahmachari, or Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, any. If they are busy with seva all the time, when they can come, when they can complete one lakh harina? When? That was the question in front of Prabhupada. Hagir Brahmachari asking Prabhupada, well, well, you are giving instruction to us to complete one lakh harina, but we are not getting time. When you can do whole day, we say, whole day we are. All day we are doing seva now. We are trying to do some seva. Papa speaking, night time what you are doing? Night time what you are doing? That means don't sleep. Do harinam and after that you can take rest. Follow. Without taking this kind of resolution, without taking this kind of resolution, like Hagi Brahmachari, like Sadananda Swami, like Narari Prabhu, we cannot do Hari Bhajan. Hari Bhajan is not a matter of joke. Follow. Whole day he is busy with whole Gauriyamat society, whole Gauriyamat society, Gauriya Saraswat Gauriya society used to call him by nickname. His name was Mother. Mother. Mother of Gauriyamat. As the mother of Gauriyamat. 
From the very beginning, I, from the very beginning he is there. Follow. Whole day he is going to take care of each and every brahmachari sannyasi. That time there were so many small boys like Santosh, like Santosh, I mean, Bamangusi Maharaj, his name was Santosh Prabhu. Santosh. That time so many small boys were there in Chaitanya Mahat. He used to take care of them. He used to take care of the not only that, but also he used to take care of, take care of each and every Gomata. You cannot believe. There were so many Gomata in Gauriabhat at the time of Prabhupada. He used to take care of Gomata. Gomata is sick, she is feeling okay. Like in our Gosala, our one Sevak taking, Maharaj, he is feeling dysentery, immediately run to doctor. Follow. When you have no eyes, when he is looking here, you can see, Ma, that small calf, not taking, not taking grass properly, must be some digestion problem. So this kind of IQ should be there, no? Like in front of mother. If we come in front of mother, can say, my son, you know, not a digestion power, you know, dropping, like Jasodama. Jasodama going to speak to Krishna. Oh, my boy, not taking anything, his digestion power, whole day in sunlight running, is, you know, losing his appetite, you know, what to do, day by day, he's going to lose his health. There's an eye of mother. If you are mother, then you can. Follow. So, Narari Prabhu was the mother of our Gauriyamat. He could realize everything. He is looking around. Each and every Brahmachari, Sannyasi, who want what, who need what thing, and how a small boy feeling problem, how to give consolation to him, how to arrange some prasadam for the small boy, what they like. Because they are going to leave mother and father, small boys. Now, Narari Prabhu is father, mother, like Krishna speaking, na? Like Krishna speaking, like our Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Gauranga Mahaprabhu not only speaking, Gauranga Mahaprabhu wanted to show. Gauranga Mahaprabhu not only speaking, he wanted to show that I am mother, I am father, I am friend, I am husband, everything. In Chaitanya Mat. It was Chandrasekhar Acharya Bhavan. There. Even giving breast milk to Haridas, this as of Mahaprabhu, in the form of Mahalakshmi. And not only gossiping. Even Sochimata cannot realize. Vishnu Diya, who is he? Who is? Nobody can understand. There is a Mahaprabhu. So it is not one, you know, only comment by Krishna. Tameva mata cha pita tameva tameva bandus cha saka tameva tameva vid... Eh? Tameva vidvam dabinam tameva tameva sarvam mama sarva deva deva. Tameva sarvam mama deva deva. I am your father, mother, I am friend for everything. Like Narayi Prabhu, like that. Popat was so much happy. Popat was so much happy. That we have no language to speak. No language. Any amount of appreciation, any amount of glorification is not, it, it is not just sufficient. Even Prabhupada cannot, even Prabhupada cannot glorify, even Prabhupada cannot glorify Narahari Prabhu completely. Even Keshav Goswami Maharaj cannot glorify Narahari Prabhu. Cannot glorify. Even my Guru Patma cannot. Impossible. This name is Narari Prabhu. In the, in the 14 world, in the 14, what to speak about in this world? What to speak about in this world? If you search 14 world, you cannot find any enemy. You cannot find any enemy of this Mahapurush. Even if you search 14 world, you cannot find even one single enemy of this Narari Prabhu, whose behavior, whose approach, whose throwing up his, you know, language, whose love was remarkable. 
if somebody is going to talk with Narari Prabhu, suppose newly, suppose today coming, suppose today somebody coming to Gauriya Mart, Chaitanya Mart. If suppose he is going to meet with Narari Prabhu, up to the last moment of his life, he cannot forget. That kind of catchy personality, like magnet. His sweet behavior, his approach, oh, each and every word, like crores of mother. Crores of mother, you can put one side, and one side, no, you cannot compare. That, why, that is why, that is why Prabhupada was very happy. Prabhupada was, Prabhupada was very happy by given the responsibility of in charge ship given the rip, giving the responsibility of the in charge ship of chaitanya Mahat, into the hand of this narari prabhu and Prabhupada is very Prabhupada is, Prabhupada is very happy Prabhupada no tension nothing preaching harikatha here and there writing books there. now narari is there narari there and vinod babu there they are masterpiece Vinod Babu, our Bhakti Bilat Sittu Goswami Maharaj, Kunjoda, no problem. They are there, no problem. But previously, you know, Narari Prabhu was a vital point. When Narari, when Narari Prabhu, when Narari Seva Bigro taking bath, when Narari Seva Bigro taking prasadam, when Narari Seva Bigro sleeping, Nobody knows. Nobody knows. If you ask when Narari Prabhu is taking prasadam, well, we don't know when he is taking prasadam. After distributing prasadam, up to the last moment, up to 2.30, 3 o'clock waiting, if somebody, some guest coming. Nobody coming, after 3, maybe some prasadam, very secretly. Up to 3, he waiting. Oh, who can, who can say? Somebody can come. Yeah, I can give my prasadam to him. My prasadam then I can offer to them. So you see. When all devotees, night time, 9 o'clock over, 10 o'clock over, everybody is going to do their bhajan or taking rest, who can say? But Narayit Prabhu watching. Any small boy, he is sick, he is going to, my son, come, take prasadam. He is going to take in lap, gain milk, everything, small boys. But small boys, seven years, ten years, small, small boys there. When Narauri Seva Bhikkhu used to, used to take prasadam, when he used to take rest, when getting up, when taking birth, nobody knows. But whole day, you can find his busy with Seva. Not only Seva, but also he used to engage all devotees in Seva, small boys, according to their capacity, according to their capacity. Some small boy, my son, he give, he give, you, you give water to Komata, give, 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 for a long time, they are thirsty. My boy, you, 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 you know, bring this sabji from here, I can, you know, amani, uh, to make. Sabji Amanya, all, everybody. Everybody, whole day and night. So, Prabhupada was very peaceful, Prabhupada was very you know, happy with his own Bani Sheva. One day, our Vinodda discovered the health position. One day, our Vinodda, because Vinodda crying and speaking, Vinodda crying and speaking. Vinodda crying and speaking. People speaking, I am his friend. Vinodda crying and speaking. In Sthirabhaptiti, people speaking, I was I was a friend of Narari Prabhu, Narari Seva Vigro. But that is his highness. That is not my highness. That he used to accept me a fallen soul as his friend. That is not my highness, that is his highness, that he wanted to accept me as his friend. That is his highness, what I can do. But I am surprised to see his seva. 
Never, nobody can imitate. Never, nobody can imitate Narodi Seva Vigraha. No one, nobody can imitate. Someday, our Vinodha watching, due to massive irregularity, he is developing indigestion problem. Not only indigestion, but also very, very weak body, very weak. And even taking a glass of water, water coming out, vomiting. Day by day, due to massive irregularities, his health deteriorating very much. So bad that even he is going to drink water, oh, coming out. But everybody requesting, Vinodha requesting, Prabhu, you must go to a doctor. I cannot go to doctor. But why? Well, if I go to doctor, I can, I will have to leave this seva. Better I can leave my body by doing seva. Better I can leave my body by doing, doing, doing seva, I can leave. When he is not at all ready to go to a doctor, then Vinodha, Vinodha, going to speak some heavy word. Finally, Vinodha is going to speak some heavy word. Well, you want to set one milestone in your life, huh? That's why you don't like to go to a doctor, huh? You like to earn name and fame. Then you become. You must go to doctor. Come. You like to earn some name, you like to make, set some milestone, huh? Like Sevak, this kind of Sevak is rare in the world. You don't like to go to Sevak. A doctor, come. Then you are bound to, then you are by heavy war. You are bound to go to doctor. You are bound to do, go to doctor with whom? With Vinodha. Vinodha taking. He is very weak, cannot walk. Going to Barishal Banwari Para. Darike Shen. Name of the doctor, Bengal famous. Bengal famous Ayurvedic doctor. Ayurvedic doctor is so, Ayurvedic doctor means we know, in our lifetime we know, the name of Bidan Roy, so big, big doctors. In our lifetime also. They are not asking, you go and take a photo of your belly. No, hey, give me, come. Oh, you develop this, you can speak. Now, doctor can oh, go, take one picture, do oh, this testing, this testing, chagal. Doctor, Chagal doctor. No, oh, blood testing, sugar testing. And I have an x-ray here, there, backside. One poor man going to die. One poor man going to die. He cannot do. But we have seen such a doctor. Watching, this is testing the pulse. Oh, this kind of problem. You can speak. So that doctor was the number one. Ayurvedic doctor in Bengal, famous, famous doctor. So I was going to take Darikesh Babu, Banwari Para, in Barishal. When went to doctor to check up, the doctor was very, very pious man. He used to get up from chair and giving honor to Narayasaka. You sit, 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 have it. Then going to watch. Oh my God, your digestion, septum, labor already finished. Well, no problem, I am there. Is going to give medicine for at least two months, continuously taking medicine. He revived his health. After that, our, our Kesav Kasi Maharaj, I mean Vinodha, going to take, going to take him back to Chaitanya Mahat. He was there because two months, continuously taking medicine. Going to take him back, his health is good. Then after that, when finally, when finally Vinodha and Narari Prabhu, both of them, they are supposed to come back to Bangla, I mean here, this, you know, Mayapur, then they thought, we must pay some gratitude to doctor. Because doctor is very nice, then they are going to doctor, doctor, I am very happy, I am very uh, okay, now I have to go. When doctor watching, 
Narari Prabhu coming, doctor, leave all patient. Let me do some let, let me do some seva of this great Vaishnava. He's coming and taking dust particle from a lotus feet. And doctor wanted to leave body after taking full kipa of one Vaishnava. And that was successful. After taking dust particle, doctor going to take bed, feeling some sickness and leaving body. Going to fulfill the desire of the doctor. Follow. Ayurvedic doctor. Then this way, Narari Prabhu used to serve, you know, so many incidents I can speak. Whenever regarding any new seva, whenever regarding any new seva, Popat want to do something, he used to sit with Narari Prabhu, he used to call Narari Prabhu, Prabhu, I like to do this seva this way. What do you think? Whenever Popat wants to do some special seva, he used to call Narayi Prabhu and discuss with him. What do you think? If I do this way, okay, nice, this way. Big, big problem. Because bonded soul, if they are going for preaching here, there, if they are going to get entry into temple, they can contaminate the situation, contaminate. Contamination will be there. Bonded so if they are not going to so anugatha, if they are anugatha, okay, then whatever bad condition can be rectified. But if they are not going to obey any Guru Vishnu, what, what we can do with them? So one brahmachari, one brahmachari, he is, he is doing rough behavior. One brahmachari, by chance, one brahmachari in Chaitanya Ma is a new kind. He is doing bad treatment with some ghosts, with some ghosts, you know, ghosts, you know, ghosts. Ali Baba, ghosts, they are those who are uh, uh, inhabitant of this, you know, land. Brajavasi, ghosts. And ghosts, 200, 200 ghosts, they are coming together to attack. 200. Whole party with danda, everything, to beat that Brahmachari. Yes. Due to his bad behavior, he wanted to kill him. Nobody can save. And Popat was not there. Popat went outside. When Narari, the, when Narari Prabhu came to know this is a situation, we cannot save this Brahmachari, he keep this Brahmachari inside. You stay inside. I am going out. He is going in front of 200 aggressive mood. They have aggressive mood. Almost they are going to beat with danda, all bamboo, everything. They stick. They are coming. Narari Prabhu coming in front of them. When they are talking with Narari Prabhu, when they are, when they are looking at Narari Prabhu, when they are talking with Narari Prabhu, their heart melted. They gone mad. They throw all their streak, everything, in front of Narayi Prabhu. Because Prabhupada is there inside his heart. If Gurudev is there, be sure, if Gurudev is there inside my heart, if somebody like to kill me, if somebody like to express some hostile attitude of me, like to play some politics with me, they can go to water. They cannot do anything to me. They cannot do anything. They can get grain banana. If at all Gurudev is there inside my heart. If at all Gurudev is there inside my heart, no father can attack me. Guru ki pa hi kevalam. That great devotee. Even the stone, even the stone, here in Maya, Mayapur is Chinmay. A stone is not an inert object. In Chaitanya Mahat, all the pillar, all the brick, all the dust particle, all Chaitan. But you cannot see. You can see Maharaj, eh, is stone and nothing. In Chaitanya Mahat, all dust particle, all bricks and stone, everything Chinmay. And Narari Prabhu is Chinmay. So they have their adjustment. Chaitanya Mahat can adjust with Narari Prabhu, Narari Prabhu can adjust with Chaitanya Mahat. But you cannot adjust, I cannot adjust. Chinmay. 
is a living example. He is a living example of great Vaishnavism. What is called Vaishnav? As a living example of Vaishnavism. What a great Vaishnav. In front of him, if somebody come with a knife to kill him, cannot kill. Cannot kill. He like to kill, but cannot kill. Look at that Vaishnav and stop. Because by, lo by looking at Narari Prabhu, they can discard, by looking, simply by looking at Narari Prabhu, they can discard all their dirty moods. That was Narari Prabhu. Up to the last moment of his life, I mean, when Prabhupada going to leave his body, 1937, 1st January, 5.30, morning time, living body. It was the arrangement of Jogumaya, some different kind of, you know, game took place. Narari Prabhu is a very tranquil, very innocent. He couldn't, you know, he couldn't fight with them. So he took decision to stay with, he took decision to stay with Vinodha, Keshav Goswami Maharaj. He, went, he took decision to stay with Vinodha. So Vinodha there, he used to stay in Devananda, Gauriyamat, I mean Vedanta Samiti, up to the last moment of his life. He wanted to stay there. He wanted to stay. And Bin, and and Vinodha speaking, I was successful, I was successful to go to preaching field. I was successful to go to preaching field due to this my Shiksha Guru Narahi Prabhu. I cannot say he is my friend. Friendship I cannot speak. He is my Shiksha Guru. I have to learn so many things from him. I was very happy, I was very peaceful, I was very, you know, I was without any anxiety, I was free of anxiety, totally, because of this great devotee, this Narari Prabhu, because he took all the responsibility of Vedanta Samiti. So I was very happy. I was in preaching mood here and there. Follow. This is called Narari Prabhu. Simply because he never wanted to speak Harikatha. Who told you? He used to speak Harikatha to small boys. Whole day doing seva like mother. Follow. Whole day doing seva like mother and speaking something small boy Harikatha speaking. He is not going to foreign he is not going to foreign country for preaching, so he is useless. You cannot speak. If you are a fallen soul, then you can speak like this. Simply because he is not going to foreign country. So he is a fallen soul, how you can say? Rupshanathan is not going to foreign soul, he is a fallen soul. You cannot speak that way. It is offensive. It is big offense. You know, this way you cannot say. Vaishnavism depends upon the heart. What kind of heart is there? Vaishnavism depends upon this heart, what kind of heart you have? How much you have your love for your sampradaya? How much you love your Gauriya Mat, Gauriya devotees? How much you love for Prabhupada? That depends upon. Not depend upon your capacity. You can do something, you can speak something, you can pass a big lecture. No. Hari Bhajan is not a matter of lecture. Hari Bhajan is not a matter of lecture. Hari Bhajan is a matter of direct realization. Hari Bhajan is a matter of direct realization. Hari Bhajan is a matter of direct realization. How much tears, how much tears you are going to shed, how much tears you are going to shed for Gauriya Mat, how much tears you are going to shed for Prabhupada Bhakti Mir Thakur. Depending upon this factor, only and only, only and only depending upon this factor, we can we can pass remark. Not by watching how many temples you are making, how many, you know, speaking, not, not that. It's deep in, it's a secrecy. 
Maybe somebody can become angry, let them become angry. I am speaking about, about scientific, I have scientific definition of Hari Bhajan. Only and only those who are from, originally, originally from those who are Gauriya Mart. Originally, not externally. Ah, I am from Gauriya Mart. I am the disciple of the, not that. Originally, those who are from the foundation of Gauriya Mart have link. They can realize what I am speaking. I am not making any story. This is called Narari Shiva Vigraha. We can catch his lotus feet and cry, please you bestow us, so that we can also develop this kind of seva mood. So that seva, seva, seva vigraha, so that I can become also seva vigraha. I mean seva, I mean Guru Shiva and Narari Prabhu, one and the same. When, when Guru Shiva, when Guru Shiva and Narari Prabhu, one and the same, then we can say Narari Seva Vigraha. I mean, whole body is a Seva Vigraha. Each and every of the link, from right from the tips of the hair up to the nail of leg. Right from the starting of our amna, the hair tips up to the nail. All is, is constructed by Seva. Made up of seva. Follow. Made up of seva. That is called Narayi Shiva Vigraha. If you remember every day, morning time, you can get success in your bhajan. Today, okay, I like to speak about another great devotees, great guru, you know, his name is Sila Bhakti Vaibha Purigusri Maharaj. So fair and above board, I never seen. I never seen Sasik. He never fear anybody to speak about that absolute. That is the vital point. By watching this vital point, he never anywhere. Maybe coming in Mayapur to attend my Guru Mahaja's function, Abhir I seen. He never fear anybody. Speaking about that absolute truth, he was less interested to arrange money, position. Oh, if I can speak sweetly, people can keep clapping. No, speaking heavily. I've seen heavily in front of everybody, speaking heavily. So one pure Vaishnav can speak this way. Everybody cannot speak like Srila Bhakti Bhava Puri Goswami Maharaj. Srila Bhakti Bhava Puri Goswami Maharaj was not a Sahajiya Vaishnav. He was never, he was, he was not a Sahajiya Vaishnav. He's a great Vaishnav. He took birth in South India and, and uh, South in you know, Orissa, Barampur, there. In the year of 1910, in the year of 1910, he took birth. All the symptoms of his body, everything very fantastic. His name, the name of a father was Shugrip, uh, uh, title, uh, mm, mm. Anyway, his father's name was Sugriv, Paolo. And, uh, you know, from very childhood, as an exceptional personality. Exceptional personality. So, he started, it, uh, edu you know, started, you know, educational qualification, everything he started. Very intelligent boy. He could speak in different languages. Like Tamil, Tamil, Telugu, Uriya, English, Hindi, all different languages. So many languages used to, used to speak. He completed his graduation. I like to jump because time cannot promise. So many things I like to see. I oh, know. Patnayak. His title was Patnayak. Shugri Patnayak. Follow. And his name was given. Uh, Nishing, Nishinga, Nishingananda. Uh, ni, uh, uh, Nishinga Patanaya, Nishinga Nandana, Nishinga Patanaya. Four brother, he was the second brother. Four brother, four brother among he is the second brother. He completed his, his schooling was done in Brahmapur. After that, he is, you know, he took, you know, Graduation was completed. After that, 
after that he wanted to learn ayurvedic you know treatment i mean he wanted to become one ayurvedic doctor one nice ayurvedic doctor very famous his name i forget with he he took lesson from him all ayurvedic doctor he wanted very funny bhushan or like that i forget the name of this ayurvedic doctor very famous bharampur he started staying with him and learning in the meantime he suggested him in the meantime the doctor suggested him both of us you and me can go to mayapur to meet with bhakti siddhant saraswati goswami jagat popa because by that time he already to hari now that doctor that doctor in the meantime in the year of 1930 in the year of 1930 he joined uh, freedom freedom fighting movement i mean in the year of 19 in the year of 1910 follow in the year of 1910 i mean today is january eh huh? january na today is a panchami tithi dark moon panchami tithi this tithi he took part now you calculate so 10 uh, 1930 minus 10 i mean almost 20 21 years if you take this year complete so 20 20 years 21 years or 20 years so in in the year you know in at the age of 1920 21 he joined he wanted to join freedom fighting movement with gandhi ji you know dandi obiman dandi obijan dandi one movement he joined against british people anyway when the doctor suggested him that both of us can go to mayapur navadeep there is one big mahapurush bhakti siddhant we can go he can say okay we can go so in the year of 1900 try to remember in the year of 1936 in the year of 1936 third october in the year of 1936 Third October, he came in Mayapur to to take the darshan of Pavupad. Follow. When he when he was successful to meet with Pavupad, take darshan, he gone mad. He took decision to hear Hari Katha continuously and not very nice successful. So he started hearing Hari Katha. His total mood was changed. because he was already a vaishnav from sri sampradaya try to remember he was already a vaishnav he was already a vaishnav from sri sampradaya like that day i was speaking na venkat venkat bhade everything gopal vatu goswami there he whole family father mother four boys they all took initiation from sanskar everything from sri sampradaya already they took i mean sadachar was all along been with him always sadachar was there and i forgot to speak you in brahmapuram i went there in brahmapuram many time to speak uh, to hear hari katha they invite me i don't know hari katha but they still, still they allow me to speak hari katha I went there to hear Hari Katha. Many they invited me. By Kanus Goswami Maharaj, Tirubab, Abirbab, Puri Goswami Maharaj. I went there. So I went there. Uh, Ambapua, Ambapua. I went there. Brahmapuram. Many, many time I went there. I was feeling very happy, very happy there. Hari Katha, they say no. There one day they took me to a temple, big temple. Gone. Ganesh temple, Ganapati. I say, why they come? When I mean, actually, Sila, Sila Purigoshi Mara. First of all, I would say that when he took Hari Nam from Sila Popa, his name was changed. His name was will be changed. His name was Nishinga Nanda Brahmachari. His name was given Nishinga Nanda. Previously, Nishinga. 
Nishingo, uh, Patanayaka. But later, Prabhupada gave his name that Nishinga Nanda Brahmachari. Follow. But prior, prior to that, prior to that, I mean before coming to Gauriyaman, he already uh, done some special bhajan to satisfy Ganapati Maharaj, to get the best blessing from Ganapati Maharaj. He got some siddhi. He got some siddhi by doing some bhajan before coming to Goryamar. And he was successful. Ganapati Maharaj blessed him. So he was successful to take shelter of Paupad. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. So, if you calculate, so if he, uh, in the year of 1936, in the year of 1936, 3rd October he came. From 3rd October, okay, October we can count total. October, November, December, okay? This three months, October, eh? October, November, December. Three months, eh? Three months, and uh, three months, and uh, 19, uh, three months. Only three months, he got the association of only three months. Only three months he got the association of Srila Prabhupada. Not even three months fully. But anyway, they are not ordinary men. Only three months. 1936, October. So October, November, December. December, 31st December, night time. Prabhupada going to, or you can calculate according to English calendar. Uh, 1937, 1st January, morning time, 5.30, Prabhupada going to leave body. That much time was more than sufficient. That much time was more than sufficient for Nishingananda Brahmachari to become a great preacher. Because he is an eternal, you know, sevak. So, this way, when Prabhupada gone, you uh, know, still he was here under the guidance of Vinodha, uh, under the guidance of you know, Kunjodha. After Prabhupada gone, the res responsibility was there by Kunjodha. Kunjodha was the, is the manager totally. Under his guidance, he used to take care of you know, this temple of Madras. Under the guidance of, you know, this Kunjada, he was, uh, he went to there in uh, Kabur, 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 I mean the, I mean the place of Raya Ramananda Sangbhav. Kabur, Kabur is the place of Raya Ramananda Sangbhav. At the bank of Godavari, discussion took place between Raya Ramananda and Mahaprabhu, that place. He was successful to make, because he no language, na? He can speak, uh, he can speak Uriya, English, Hindi, Tamil, Telugu, all language. That's why he was very effective preacher. Scriptural knowledge was already there. He learned everything, all Sastha Bhagavad, everything. I am going to cut short my discussion. Someday I can discuss. He was very powerful preacher. His throwing speech, character, behavior, all his power was so high. He used to speak Bhagavad Katha very sweetly, very nicely, with full documents. So, Koburmat, Koburmat was done at the time of Popat. Our Ramananda Prabhu, I mean Sridhar Maharaj, Madhugusi Maharaj, all day. Okay. But the final development, Koburmat was already there. By the effort of Madhav Goswami Maharaj, I mean Hayagrit Brahmachari, Raya Ramananda Prabhu, I mean Raya Ramananda Prabhu, I mean our Siddhar Maharaj. But the final development, but the final development of that man, you know, was under the guidance of this great, great sadhu. He was successful to make Natta Mandir big arrangement. Maybe temple was there already. But he was successful to make big renovation, big. 
Follow. Also in Madras Mart, he was sent. Because in known language, no? So nicely you can speak. So went to Madras also. There Madras Mart development was done by him. He was sent by the desire of Prabhupada. Prabhupada already gone by that time, but it was a desire of Prabhupada from, from the very beginning. So by the desire, we can say by the desire of Prabhupada, he was sent by Kunjoda to, to uh, North Bengal. Rup Sanatan, you know Rup Sanatan place? You know the place of Rup Sanatan. They, they send him to establish the lotus flower of Chaitanya Padapit. Chaitanya Padapit. It was a it was a resolution of Prabhupada to establish Chaitanya Padapit. I mean a footprint of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu everywhere, wherever Mahaprabhu went. Follow. Wherever in South India, wherever Mahaprabhu went, wherever. It was the resolution of Prabhupada to establish Chaitanya Charan Padapit everywhere. Follow. So, Rupsanathan used to stay near Malda, North Bengal. So, Mahaprabhu went, you can remember, Mahaprabhu went to the house, went to this, you know, in the name of the village, I say, always I say, I forget now, you know, Ramkeli. The place, name of the place is Ramkeli. Mahaprabhu speaking to when Sonat. When Sonatan and Rup, when Sonatan and Rup came to meet with Mahaprabhu night time, twelve o'clock, by hiding their best, very they're changing their dress because they used to serve Muslim king, na, Hussein Sa. So he used to change their dress and coming to meet with Mahaprabhu night time, twelve o'clock. So Rup, Sonatan and who? Uh, that you know. The Anupam. And the small boy, Jibuko Sempa was there in the lap. They all came. Mahaprabhu speaking to them, it is there in Chaitanya Chaitanya, you can read. Mahaprabhu speaking himself. People asking, people, Mahaprabhu speaking, people asking, why I am going to Ramkeli? I am supposed to go to Vrindavan. Mahaprabhu speaking himself, people don't know. People asking me, why is going this way? Not, you know, why is going this way? Ramkeli, he is supposed to go to Vrindavan. But they don't know. I am coming to, I am coming here, Ramkeli, to meet you all. I mean, Rup Sanatan, this I meet you. Mahaprabhu speaking, nobody knows why I am coming in Ramkeli. That Ramkeli, that Ramkeli, if you go there, you can find Nava Vrindavan. Namkeli, Rup Sanatan, when they were already there at home, they used to make one Nava Vindavan. Nava, new Vindavan, very. Madan Mohan, all Vigra there. Mahaprabhu went there. So it was the desire of Prabhupada to establish one footprint. So the responsibility was given to our Bhakti Bhaiva Purigushi Maharaj. I mean, Nishingananda Prabhu. So he went there. He was successful. All people ready to help him. He was successful to establish the footprint of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu there, arrange a big festival there. After that, after that, by watching the situation, he wanted to uh, start his own preaching, I mean, under the guidance of Prabhupada. So in, uh, so in, uh, um, where not in Urissa, not uh, Urissa, Andhra. In Andhra Pradesh, there is one place named Kakinara, I think. One place. He first, he first opened one temple there. After the Vaisak, Rajamandi, everywhere, so many. So many places. In Vrindavan, so many places. I like to speak so many things about him. I remember by his mercy. 
we have seen how he used to come to my Guru Maharaj to invite him at old age, how both of them used to discuss in our soul with laughing mood. I was very happy. I can remember all this. Very strict. So, he opened different temples and you know, he was bound to give Diksha. Previously, he never wanted to give Diksha, but finally to rescue or bonded soul, he was bound to give Diksha. Finally. In Puri, all the important places. Vrindavan in Sevakun. Vrindavan in Sevakun. He wanted to procure one land. He wanted to procure one land there. In the meantime, one German Sahib Maharaj, he also wanted to procure land there. Both of them competition. When that Maharaj came to know, when that, when that Maharaj, German Maharaj came to know that Bhakti Vaiva Purigasi Maharaj want to open one temple, he said, okay, 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 let him, let him do. Let him do. I cannot do. Because there was competition originally. A competition started. He can pay more, he can pay more. Finally, when he came to, oh, come on, Bhakti Vaiva Purigasi No, 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 no. Okay, okay, let him take. I can do much uh, temple. He should make temple. Seva Kunj. By opening temple there in Seva Kunj and by watching the deity there, you can realize what was his secret sarup very easily. Just Seva Kunj gate, this Seva Kunj gate, Seva Kunj gate, and here. Who can make? Seva Kunj gate, and he is making temple there. Many times I went there. Uh, they re request, they order me to speak Harikatha. I took prasadam there. So I am very happy, very happy. To very nice temple. As per the ar ar architect of Orissa design. In whole Bindavan you cannot find this kind of temple. All Orissa, Orissa design. They call Orissa a labor, you know, architect, man. So nice temple. Crores of rupees. So this way he started preaching and his preaching was successful very much because his acharan was very like fire. Because his acharan was like fire. Because his acharan was like fire, so naturally preaching was successful. So many people coming. He never wanted to go to foreign country. Finally all people coming and requesting you Maharaj, you are going to leave your body. Why not you go and rescue all this fallen soul there in foreign country? No, I my old age. No, you must go, Maharaj. You must go. Maharaj, in you know, old age, very old age, with stick, without stick, it cannot move. That time he took decision to go to foreign country, different places, Rome, Italy, uh, Italy here, there, Austria, different places, European country. He was not at all interested, but he was bound to go because of his causeless mercy. By watching this kind of old, you know, mature devotee, all foreign devotees, they are, they are stunned to see, look at him, who is he? he so nice, you know. So many... Many people expressing envious attitude. They are speaking, well, in the old age, Puri Maharaj going to foreign country. In the old age, he is going to foreign, so what? Old age, he is going to foreign country, so what? Old age, he is going to foreign country, so what? They are criticizing. Eh, old age, he is going to foreign country, so what? He has his overflowing kippa, so he can go. He has his overflowing kippa, he can go. You have no kippa. How he can go? He is enjoying the kippa of Guru Bhargava, everybody. So why not? 100% right. He gone. Okay. He is successful. And the speciality, I like to stop my discuss. My, so many points I remember about him. So many, like flood coming inside my heart. But time cannot permit. I am very happy to see the preaching mood of Sila Bhakti Vaiva Purigashima. Very happy. And I sell myself unto a lotus feet of that Mahajan by watching that he is less interested to find out one rich man. Very poor man. 
Very poor man, they even cannot take, arrange two bread in a day. Maharaj going to them. Hey, Hari Bhajan, you do Hari Bhajan, Gauranga. Now at present no Acharya can go. Very poor man, they are tribal, very poor. They cannot arrange even two bread. But still Maharaj going to them. Hey, come to me, do Hari Bhajan. Who is there so merciful? Who is there so merciful like Maharaj? Who is there? Who is there so merciful like Maharaj? I can re I remember so many things, but time cannot find me. Anyway, I can speak another incident. One day, one thief coming to steal from the temple. He was caught red-handed. One thief came in the temple to steal something. He was caught red-handed and those devotees were supposed to beat him by getting information. Purima said, don't! Purima speaking, no, don't beat him. Don't beat, bring to me, bring to me, bring in front of me. That the thief was brought in front of Maharaj. He said, Maharaj, Maharaj asking, why you are, why you are stealing? Why you are, Maharaj, we are very poor, no money, nothing. I could not arrange any bread. If I can give bread to you, you can steal? No, no, I cannot steal. Maharaj asking, you can steal anymore if I give everything to you? No, no, no. You can do Hari Bhajan if I allow you to stay here? Yes, then he. That, that man, he was a thief. Now he is a Maharaj. <laughs> I cannot speak the name of that Maharaj. He is now Maharaj. He is now Maharaj. So you think about the keeper of Sala Bhakti Bhavapuri Goswami Maharaj. Who is going to criticize about him? If I meet him, I can give a big, you know, fist on his head. Such a great devotee. I love him very much. I love him very much. I was lucky, I was lucky to attain, you know, the, you know, the, when he lived body, na? When he lived body, Birahatiti. They all invite me, uh, invite us. I went there. They allow me to speak Harikatha. After that, hundred years completion, also they call me. I went there. Now, due to situation, I am not going because situation cannot permit me so many uh, busyness. I have no time. That's why I am very happy. Anyway, I beg for pardon unto the lotus feet of Srila Maharaj. If at all any aparat done by me, and I like blessing, from him so that I can do bhajan and especially I want Kripa from him to speak absolute truth like him. And Narari Sarkar Prabhu, I like to beg unto a lotus feet so that I can do seva unto his, you know, great seva like him anyway. So, Iha Jasho Harer Dase Karmana Manasagira Nikhila Asu Opi avasthasu jivan mukto sa uchyate vancha kalpadaro se ke pasindu bevacha pati tanang pavana bevishna vyo namo. So many things I remember, but too long time. Anyway, tomorrow is a Jayadev Goswami. Jayadev Goswami, very classical discussion. As well as Samadhi Oknarakari is serving Huh? Samadhi Oknarakari is serving Huh? So, Narari Seva Vigra is under the control of Devananda Gauri Mahārāja. But they make Samadhi there in the, they make one special place at the bank of Ganga, you don't know. Because Devananda Gauri Mahārāja is not big place. They are only in Devananda Gauri Mahārāja. Hello, hear me, pay attention. In Devananda Gauri Mahārāja you can find only two Samadhi. One Samadhi of Sīla Kesha Goswami Mahārāja, another Bhavanda all other samadhi you can find a little far. You will have to go and uh, to... Uh, uh, no. All Tibika Maharaj, every all samadhi you can find at the bank of Ganga. Or the bank of it. So Narayana Seva Vigra is also 